What's up, y'all? I got a family in the feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into um, Cardi B reacts to Kamala Harris seeking presidential seat after Joe Biden drops bid. I did react to this earlier, and I'm going to put that original version on the Patreon. It is entirely too much cussing, and I don't feel like editing it out. So here we go. I feel like it was a little selfish for Joe Biden to run for president again when I feel like it should have been, they should have passed the torch to Kamala. And that's just a little observation that I did. And guess what? When I did that live, people was calling me all types of dumb, mind your business. And people was like, ain't you, ain't you, um, ain't you not voting? Let me tell you something. I want to make this very clear. Just because I'm not voting. And the reason why I'm not voting, I'm not voting until there's a cease. What? All right. So, and then they edited out that word. What is a cease F word? A temporary suspension of fighting, typically one during which peace talks take place, a truce. An order or a signal to stop fighting. I guess she's saying that for um war. Y'all let me know what she's talking about. Well, if there's not a cease, I'm not voting. I don't condone, I don't condone innocent people. So I don't give a, f but just because I made that decision, it doesn't mean I'm not going to keep getting myself updated with the things that, are, that um, are happening in this country. Because at the end of the day, I pay taxes. And unlike a lot of people, I don't receive taxes. I pay millions of dollars in taxes. So of course, I'm going to always, I'm going to, I don't get tax breaks. You know what I'm saying? I don't get tax breaks and sh I don't get tax breaks. So whether I feel a certain type of way about both um, parties, because I would never support Trump. It's hard for me to support the Democrat Party. When I want to know how y'all feel about um, Trump. I know y'all, it's a lot of y'all talking about Project 2025. Um, let me know how y'all feel about Trump and what you dislike about Project 2025. They're not seas seasoned the fire. So, however, I, I always do, I do believe that Kamala, you know, is a is better than joe biden and i feel from the beginning like it's like okay now kamala what no, she's gonna was... she's gonna run she's gonna run for president but my thing is that it's like the democratic party up because it's like y'all should have been had her run for president like i i know for a fact y'all saw that joe biden he's just not well he's older he's older he needs to enjoy the rest of his life with his kids in a wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? They should have been gave this to her. Like, it's like, bro, you already accomplished what you had to accomplish. Also, I want to know how y'all feel about a woman being president. I went live earlier and asked the people um, on my Instagram how y'all feel about it. And a lot of women are absolutely against um, Kamala being president. And quite frankly, I feel like it won't just be her answering questions or saying something back. Like if anything, we're going to get fired up tweets and we're talking about emotion. But to be honest, you know, Biden has spoken more than Kamala throughout this whole situation. Granted, he the president, but I mean, responding in general, like they have put presidency and Twitter together. So that should really have y'all like, Hey, yo, you know what I'm saying? But I digress. So, and you know, of course, today when I saw the news, I was very excited because when I said it on June thirtieth, people was making fun of me, saying that I don't that that like I'm always talking out of my terms because you know, like like I talk how I talk. Everybody always making fun of me because I because the way I talk. Everybody always telling me to shut the f up when it comes to politics, when it comes to everything because of the way that I talk. But at the end of the day, just because I speak a certain type of way or just because I came where I'm coming from, it doesn't mean that I'm uneducated. Like, I come from two... Yeah, she said uneducated. You heard. Two parents, they have two different accents. So, two parents, they got two different accents, and then I got a, a Bronx accent on me. So, but this is my shit to get me mad, right? I don't like when I talk... Like, I'm talking about politics, right? I'm talking about politics. Why is it when I... When whatever topic that I talk to, you always want to bring my marital, my marital issues. Like... Like, I could talk about politics, I could talk about food, I could talk about, I could talk about music. If I talk about music, y'all be like, oh, because you always, you always worrying about your, that's why you're not dropping. If I talk about politics, like, let me, let me show y'all this comment, right? I'm going to show y'all this comment. Hold on. Be sure to like.
Comment, this is hold on, hold on, hold on, because I don't want to think. This is on Hollywood Unlocked. Hollywood Unlocked posted, you know, the live when I was talking about they should have let Kamala run for president. So, if I'm talking, if I'm not insulting nobody, I'm not insulting nobody. I'm giving my opinion on what I think should happen. Why you put comments like this? Why you put comments like this? All that backbiting you thought you was going behind your button and clearing him for, you doing the same thing. Don't throw no rock and hide your hand, Miss Mamas. It ain't an itch or sketch in the motherfucking world who could ever make me feel bad about my body. I ain't gonna lie, she went crazy. And the whole argument that Cardi B had today was null and void. Don't get me wrong, because y'all know I'll respond to somebody in a minute if I feel like it or if I have the time. But it seemed like Cardi B be having the time a lot. She don't need to have a time a lot. You done touched everything on you and you still got so many insecurities because you can't keep your husband at home. You done paid for bitch to get beat up because they want the same. Dang. I'm talking about the whole presidential race and y'all just always got to bring up the, the, the my, my, uh, offset, offset, offset. I talk about music, y'all bring up offset. I shake my ass on the bra, y'all, and on the ground, offset, offset, offset. What, what's going to happen if I do decide to leave offset and I start on y'all on purpose? They going to be broke and you ain't going to want to do it. I didn't want to f*** them. I'm just going to DM them and they're going to reply back and I'm going to post it. What y'all going to do? What y'all hoes going to do? What y'all hoes going to do? Y'all think since she gave them a warning, they still going to do that? I want to know what y'all think. <laughs> hmm? It's like y'all want me to f*** y'all Y'all want me to f*** because I'm the type of person that is like, all right, you want to keep doing the shit with my, with my, with my situation and all that I'm going to go through all your friends and I'm going to see that you got a crush on and I'm going to hit them up. Y'all, I'll be looking for my next video. What, bitch? Then what? Now you crying, bitch. Now you crying. Stop. Stop being weird to me. Stop being mean to me. Stop being weird to me, bro. Stupid little. Like, it is everything. Like, a bitch. I can't talk about nothing. I can talk about nothing. I can talk about Joe Biden. I can talk about Kamala. I can talk about. Mm -hmm. I can talk about music. Kamala. I can talk about. Oh damn! I like. Oh, I. For, and no matter of fact, you know what? What people' favorite shit about me is is that she get all the surgery and her this that. First of all, bitch, I don't get no surgery for no. I am the. I am Dominican. We love surgery, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We just love it. We 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 love it. And also, I had some Dominicans in the chat that was like, yup, yup. A lot of people be like, you're insecure. That's why you got so much surgery. First of all, let me tell you something. I've never been insecure in my life, ever in my life. Since I was 18 years old, I know that my physique was going to make me build money. That's why I became a, I became a because I was so confident in myself that I know that my body and my face was going to make me money. And that's how I became a thousandaire. With my looks, my looks, my looks. Crooked uh, teeth. Day was in here. Even all, bitch. Crooked teeth and all. This was, this was going to the club like, yeah. Uh, where's the girl with the peacock? Your, your favorite rappers. Your favorite rappers. Throwing bands on a bitch. So, just because I like surgery, because I like to be perfect. I want to be, I like to be a doll. I like to be a doll. It doesn't mean that bitch is insecure. Blah, 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 blah. No, bitch. I just like to be a doll. I'm the minute. I just feel like this live was screaming insecurity. I'm not gonna lie. And I like Cardi B, but she was yelling it on this live. We love surgery. If I if I come back, I will be a surgeon. Matter of fact, <laughs> I want my kids to be surgeons so they could do free surgery on me. <laughs> Cause a bitch ain't gonna age. So stop with that. And like I never, I never do. First of all, my nigga marry me when I had no lipo. When I first married Offset, I had no, not a nose job. I had a nose job. I had no lipo. I only had my done and eight hundred dollars worth of ass. So my nigga didn't even marry me with a lipo. Then I put a five hundred thousand dollar ring on my finger and mother and two kids in this. So I don't get surgery because of no nick. I get surgery because I like to look like a doll. A bitch is a doll a doll and i'm dominican we love surgery oh child that's basically all she was saying the whole live and repeating it so 
Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey.